All right, some people have had some issues with folder structure and downloading mods and installing them in general. So um, I'm making another video to explain a, a slightly simpler way of making it, uh, installing it. As of Alpha 22, the, you won't be able to load the mods folder from within the game files folder, the base directory anymore. It'll automatically default to, yeah, user, username, uh, app data, roaming, seven days to die, and then a mods folder. That's, that's where everything will load from that point on. So what I've done is I've built a batch file um, that'll help with the installation. It's ever so simple. So click on the link in the description. This will bring you to this page. You uh, click repos. You then click the three dots. You click download a zip and that's the first bit done that'll download to your default place i always download to the desktop so it's just easier most people have it as my documents but it makes no difference where it's downloaded it'll work the same way as long as the mods folder and the batch file are in the same place which they would be it'll work fine so download the zip to wherever you normally download it and then continue on All right as i was saying before your as of alpha 22 I know they're changing the mods to installation folder. It will be uh, C users, your name, whatever name you've got, uh, app data roaming, seven days to die, mods. So here. So simulated there already being a mods folder, which obviously would clash. Any mods that are left in here, when you're adding another overhaul, chances are it will break. And that's why a lot of people get red errors. They have old stuff that's. Uh, from they've been playing before the mod itself has no errors so any errors on load up is there's an issue somewhere as i said before so right click extract here this would be the same if it in if you've downloaded it to documents or wherever you've downloaded it to it makes no difference just right click and extract here allow it to extract and uh, once it's extracted you'll get a batch file um i'll show you that now so you can see the text what it does what it does is it checks to see if there's a mods folder already there if there is it deletes uh, this is for compatibility reasons obviously I want everybody to be able to use the mod and not have any errors so the only way to do that is to make sure there's no old mods folder in here first so mods folder will get deleted if there's an old one uh, that's the code for anybody who wants to read it and all you need to do is see the mods folder there is double click the batch file it'll tell you that it's going to remove the following folder from where it is you click continue you click yes it deletes it then tells you it's, it'll install the mods you click accept or enter And that's it done click enter again to get rid so inside your seven days to die mods folder you now have the overhaul so starting your game up will allow you to play the overhaul without any issues so show that once again because it's ever so simple as long as the batch file and the mods folder is in the same place which it would be if you extracted you just double click press enter press yes press enter again the old mods folder gets deleted press enter again new mods folder gets copied and that's it after that you can delete whatever files you have in your extracted folder and you can start your game as normal press enter to get rid and that's it installed